Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim This is part three of Tafsir ibn Kathir. Virtues of Isti'adha. The Isti'adha cleanses the mouth from the foul speech that it has indulged in. It also purifies the mouth and prepares it to recite the speech of Allah. Further, the Isti'adha entails seeking Allah's help and acknowledging His ability to do everything. The Isti'adha also affirms the servant's meekness weakness and inability to face the enemy of his inner evil whom Allah alone who created this enemy is able to repel and defeat this enemy does not accept kindness unlike the human enemy there are three ayat in the Quran that affirm this fact also Allah said Inna verily my servants i.e. the true believers of Islamic monotheism you have no authority over them, and sufficient is your Lord as a guardian. Quran chapter 17, verse 65. We should state here that the believers whom the human enemies kill become mar martyrs. We should state here that the believers whom the human enemies kill become martyrs, while those who fall victim to the inner enemy, Satan, become bandits. Further, the believers who are defeated by the apparent enemy uh, i.e. the disbelievers gain a reward while those defeated by the inner enemy earn a sin and become misguided since satan sees man where man cannot see him it is befitting that the believers seek refuge from satan with whom satan cannot see the isti'adha is a form of drawing closer to allah and seeking refuge with him from evil of every evil creature what does isti'adha mean Isti'adha means I seek refuge with Allah from the cursed Satan so that he is prevented from affecting my religious or worldly affairs or hindering me from adhering to what I was commanded or luring me into what I was prohibited from. Indeed, only Allah is able to prevent the evil of Satan from touching the son of Adam. This is why Allah allowed us to be lenient and kind with the human devil so that his soft nature might cause him to refrain from the evil he is indulging in. However, Allah required us to seek refuge with him from the evil of Satan, because he neither accepts bribes nor does kindness affect him, for he is pure evil. Thus, only he who created Satan is able to stop his evil. This meaning is reiterated in only three ayat in the Quran. Allah said in Surah Al-A'raf, خُذِ الْعَفْوَ وَأْمُرْ بِالْعُرْفِ وَأَعْرِضْ عَنِ الْجَاهِلِينَ Show forgiveness, enjoin what is good, and turn away from the foolish, i.e., don't punish them. Quran chapter 7, verse 199. This is about dealing with human beings. He then said in the same surah, And if an evil whisper comes to you from shaitan, then, ref then seek refuge. Then seek refuge with Allah. Verily, he is hearing and knowing. Quran chapter 7, verse 200. Allah also said in Surah Al Mu'minun, Repel evil with that which is better. We are best acquainted with the things they utter. And say, O Lord, I seek refuge with you from the whisperings, suggestions, of the shayateen, devils, and I seek refuge with you, my Lord, lest they should come near me. Quran, chapter 23, verses 96 to 98. Further, Allah said in Surah As-Sajda, وَلَا تَسْتَوِي الْحَسَنَةُ وَلَا السَّيِّئَةُ اِدَفَعْ بِالَّتِي هِيَ أَحْسَنُ فَإِذَا الَّذِي بَيْنَكَ وَبَيْنَهُ عَدَاوَةٌ كَأَنَّهُ وَلِيٌّ حَمِيمٌ Further, Allah said in Surah Fussilat, حاميم السجدة ولا تستوي الحسنة ولا السيئة ادفع بالتي هي أحسن فإذا الذي بينك وبينه عداوة كأنه ولي حميم The good deed and the evil deed cannot be equal. Repel the evil with one which is better than verily he between, he, he between whom and you there was enmity will become as though he was a close friend. Repel the evil with one which is better than verily he between whom and you there was enmity will become as though 
he was a close friend. وَمَا يُلَقَّاهَا إِلَّا الَّذِينَ صَبَرُوا وَمَا يُلَقَّاهَا إِلَّا ذُو حَظٍ عَظِيمٍ But none is granted it, the above quality, except those who are patient. And none is granted it except the owner of the great portion of happiness in the hereafter, i.e. paradise, and of high moral character in this world. وَإِمَّا يَنْزَغَنَّكَ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ نَزْغٌ فَاسْتَعِذْ بِاللَّهِ إِنَّهُ هُوَ السَّمِيعُ الْعَلِيمُ And if an evil whisper from shaitan tries to turn you away from doing good, then seek refuge in Allah. Verily, he is the hearing, the knowing. Quran, chapter 41, verses 34 to 36. Why the devil is called shaitan? In the Arabic language, shaitan is derived from shaitana, which means the far thing. Hence, the shaitan has a different nature than mankind, and his sinful ways are far away from every type of righteousness. It was also said that shaitan is derived from shatta, literally means. It was also said that shaitan is derived from shata, literally means burned, because it was created from fire. Some scholars said that both meanings are correct, although they state that the first meaning is more plausible. Further, Sibawe, the renowned Arab linguistic, the renowned Arab linguistic said, the Arabs say so and so has the shaytana when he commits the acts of the devils. If shaytan was derived from shata, they would have said the shayata rather than the shaytana. Hence, shaytan is derived from the word that means far away. This is why they call those who are rebellious or mischievous. From among the jinns and mankind, a shaitan. Allah said, وَكَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَا لِكُلِّ نَبِيٍّ عَدُوًّا شَيَاطِينَ الْإِنسِ وَالْجِنِّ يُوحِي بَعْضُهُمْ إِلَى بَعْضٍ زُخْرُفَ الْقَوْلِ غُرُورًا And so, we have appointed for every prophet enemies, shayateen, devils, among mankind and jinn, inspiring one another with adorned speech as a delusion or by way of deception. Quran chapter 6, verse 112. In addition, the Musnad by Imam Ahmad records that Abu Dhar said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Ya Abu Dhar, ta'awwadh billahi min shayateen al-insi wal-jinn. O Abu Dhar, seek refuge with Allah from the devils of mankind and the jinns. Abu Dhar said, I asked him, are there human devils? He said, yes. Furthermore, it is recorded in Sahih Muslim that Abu Dhar said that said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, يَقْتَعُ الصَّلَاةِ الْمَرْأَةُ وَالْحِمَارُ وَالْكَلْبُ الْأَسْوَدِ The woman, the donkey, and the black dog interrupt the prayer if they pass in front of those who do not pray behind a sutra, a barrier. Abu Dhar said, I said, what is the difference between the black dog and the red or yellow dog? He said, الْكَلْبُ الْأَسْوَدُ shaytan. The black dog is a devil. Also, Ibn Jarir al-Tabari recorded, that Omar ibn al-Khattab once rode a berdoon, huge camel, which started to proceed arrogantly. Omar kept striking the animal, but the animal kept walking in an arrogant manner. Omar dismounted the animal and said, By Allah, you have carried me on a shaitan. I did not come down from it until after I had felt something strange in my heart. This hadith has an authentic chain of narrators. The meaning of Ar-Rajim. Ar-Rajim means being expelled, being, being expelled. Ar-Rajim means being expelled from all types of righteousness. Allah said, وَلَقَدْ زَيَّنَّ السَّمَاءَ الدُّنْيَا بِمَصَابِيحِ وَجَعَلْنَاهَا رُجُومًا لِلشَّيَاطِينَ And indeed, we have adorned the nearest heaven with lamps, and we have made such lamps رُجُومًا as missiles to drive away the shayateen, the devils. Quran chapter 67 verse 5. Allah also said, إِنَّ زَيَّنَّ السَّمَاءَ الدُّنْيَا بِزِينَةٍ الْكَوَاكِبِ وَحِفْظًا مِّن كُلِّ شَيْطَانٍ مَّارِدٍ Verily, we have adorned the near heaven with the stars for beauty and to guard against every rebellious devil. لَا يَسَّمَّعُونَ إِلَى الْمَلَئِ الْأَعْلَى وَيُقَذَفُونَ مِّن كُلِّ جَانِبٍ They cannot listen to the higher group angels, for they are pelted from every side. دُحُورًا وَلَهُمْ عَذَابٌ وَاصِبٌ Outcast and theirs is a constant or painful torment. إِلَّا مَنْ خَطِفَ الْخَطْفَةَ فَأَتْبَعُهُ شِهَابٌ ثَاقِبٌ Except such 
as snatch away, except such as snatch away something by stealing, and they are pursued by a flaming fire of piercing brightness. Quran chapter 37, verses 6 to 10. Further, Allah said, وَلَقَدْ جَعَلْنَا فِي السَّمَاءِ بُرُوجًا وَزَيَّنَّهَا لِلنَّاظِرِينَ And indeed, we have put the big stars in the heaven, and we beautified it for the beholders. وَحَفِظْنَاهَا مِنْ كُلِّ شَيْطَانٍ رجيم. And we have guarded it near heaven from every shaitan rajim, outcast shaitan. إِلَّا مَنِ اسْتَرَقَ السَّمْعَ فَأَتْبَعَهُ شِهَابٌ مُبِينٌ Except him who steals the hearing, then he is pursued by a clear flaming fire. Quran chapter 15 verses 16 to 18. There are several similar ayat. It was also said that rajim means the person who throws or bombards things because the devil throws doubts and evil thoughts in people's hearts. The first meaning is more popular and accurate. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.